hello friend you are welcome back again and i always say i appreciate your support for always coming to watch videos here your views are actually helpful and they keep me going in this channel to do more for you and all i have to say is to thank you for seeing the video and liking it already and i'm sure you've already subscribed if you haven't please just subscribe even if it is for no reason subscribe to the channel okay all right today is a special day and i'm just going to share with you my view on how you should construct your pig pen yes most somebody wants to start pig farm like you want to start a, a pig farm and then the first thing that comes to mind is how should you design your house and how should you make it but whenever i am asked such question what i say is it depends on you the farmer how you want it to be okay yes assuming me my target is to produce 25 pigs in the first quarter of the year okay so that will be a hundred in the whole year the style of my design will be different for you that you want to make yours like you want to produce 30 20 in the year or you want to produce 200 it will vary so how should you go about it so it definitely it depends on you the farmer your own style of doing it you know we we, we, we are all located in different different places and one of the things that can influence how you de de design your farm is availability of water if you don't have water running in your farm that one will have a, an influence on the way you design your animals because you actually you would definitely need to wash your animals and now that you don't have water on the, running on the farm what do you do yes yeah, so in something like that you can design it in such a way that you create something like a pool okay something like that you create something like a pool in between the uh, in, in the house where you open your your pigs and then they, they go there to bath in tents first batch goes to bath then you, you lock them second bath goes to clean themselves you lock you do that so they all take their bath but you keep changing the water once it's, it looks dirty you get it that one is a different way and somebody also with a, a tap running there on his farm doesn't need to do that he has the thing all he does do is to connect the hose and then every morning goes there to clean it water the place and then the animals are bathed clean you get it so water can also actually influence the way you construct your, your pen water can actually influence it are you okay yeah so there's no need and <clears throat> talking about stocking i can build my pen such that in each room i want to keep three picks that that's my desire i want to keep three picks in each room and with you you want to keep like four or five in one room or ten some people used to keep 20 yes i just keep 20 in the room yeah so in that case it's going to be a different design altogether i will build for three in a room or two in a room and you are going to consider three in a room no i mean ten you're going to consider ten in a room so definitely it will be different from mine okay so with the design you just envision how you want your family to look like in your brain and then you give that to your 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 construct uh, your contractor to just build something like that exactly for you are you getting it yes but to me i used to keep two in a room and then i i move on to one in a room for the the the, the mother the saw you get it and then the ball but for the pegless some used to keep 30 in a room some can keep 30 in a room but me i keep 10 in a room for the pegless but after the second month uh, yes the second month I, I then reduced the number to five in a room and i reduce it again three in a room you get it yeah so all these are factors you take into consideration when you are constructing the pen it does not need to be uh, specific it doesn't need to be stuck that this is the ideal way to go so you have to just follow it there's no actually there's no formula in it it depends on the how you the farmer want to be and you know pregnant souls who need will need to be put at places different from if they are not uh, pregnant okay so you have the following pen why it's for the pregnant so they are also part of the things you can consider okay and once uh, there's all farrows you can also uh, after when you know how to also take your your pegless or the source to are you getting it so you can consider all this before constructing your pen but it does not necessarily need to be a, a particular size you want and mind you pigs also come in different sizes there are some pigs they grow bigger okay like this duroc duroc grows bigger bulkier you get it you can build and it's sometimes very short animal stout 
you can't build something like that for large white okay last large white used to be elongated yes elongated like that you can see it and that one in terms of the walling if you are to use walls you have to construct this in such a way that your pick cannot jump from that each room to the next room but with large white if your place is short it will be able to enter escape into the next room and that one is not uh, advisable to do so you should always construct it in such a way that even if the pig is able to stand on its uh, its hind legs it is only able to uh, put its neck the neck area on the wall and then to look at the others in the next room but not to directly be able to enter into the next room no it's not accepted you get it so with the design it depends on how you, you want it to go how you, the number of piglets uh, pigs you want to produce in a year or a quarter will influence it are you getting it and how you want to be able to clean your animals to also influence it are you getting it so there are a number of factors that influence the design or the style of uh, design in your pig house so there's no particular way just look at how you want yours to be and go according to that and one thing i always tell you is don't try to copy yes don't try to copy don't copy others too much copying will lead to failure because you are you are not genuine and along the way you lose the passion in it you get it be genuine and do what you love and i'm sure you're going to succeed in this farming business ah, thanks for seeing and thanks for staying with me until the end of this video i really appreciate you and i will consider that you subscribe to encourage me to do more so hit the subscribe